Terraforming is one of the most impressive skills to have in Minecraft, but it's also one of the hardest to perfect. A skill that I've been painfully ignoring since starting this world. But after building a small yet pretty biome for my village sanctuary, I think it's time for me to finally try my hand at properly terraforming, all inside virtual reality. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Oh, yeah. And I've been eyeing the perfect spot for this kind of challenge. Near my base, I have a beautiful jungle valley full of flora and life, which means I must gut it, cover it with a new biome, and erase what was here before. <laughs> no, no, I plan to improve this valley by converting it into a desert canyon, complete with housing to shield villages from the heat, dry flora, and you can't forget the circles and spikes. But we've got a lot of work to do, so welcome to part one of this VR terraforming project. All right, goobs and gaps, it's time to finally begin the obscene project of terraforming this valley into a desert canyon. And now that most of the hurdles are out of the way, I can finally begin working on this disgusting thing. Let's head over and see what we can do. Here it is, the jungle valley. Pretty soon here, this whole thing will look completely different. Oh, I guess this is where the next few weeks of my life are gonna be. So, um, I'm just realizing that during the preparation for this, there's one crucial stage that I forgot to account for. And that is that I need to remove everything here. I need the, the jungle, the oak, the bamboo, the birch, anything that isn't the ground itself needs to be uprooted ASAP. So let's get to work. <sighs> In my preparation, I was so caught up on finally starting this canyon that I completely forgot about all this clutter that needs to be removed before any blocks can be placed. All right, that whole process of clearing out this entire valley of all the, the beautiful plant life took an entire day. And then I got sick. So I'm back again, coming up from a cold. <clears throat> but with that being said, we do have the terracotta. So with an entire week having passed, let's finally get started building this thing. And unsurprisingly, I am already running into my first problem. Where do I start? Nothing about the surroundings is really screaming, put a desert canyon here. So how am I going to make a biome that is the complete opposite of this tropical valley look like it belongs? Well, there's not much I can do if there's no canyon here to work with. So I just gotta force myself to begin. With two shulkers full of terracotta, I just needed to find a good place to start. So I think if we start here, we could do something. I'm so scared. The first lines I build here are going to determine where the entire canyon rests. So if these lines look wrong and I don't catch it now, the finished product will be worthless. But this canyon is going to be massive, so to make my job a little less overwhelming, for now I'll only be focusing on the left side of the canyon. Second line is in. Let me go see. I'm From here, I don't like this. I don't like this curve that I did. Hmm. Let me go back up here. All right, let me let me lift my hands up so that they're not in the way. Um, yeah, I think I have to smooth that up a bit, but otherwise it's pretty good. Let me let me smooth this out a little little bit. Or boom. Okay, I think that's much better. All right, I'm gonna lead this into the. <laughs> this is not gonna be enough for the skeleton. <laughs> I'm gonna lead this into the. I'm gonna lead this terracotta into the hill so it actually gives us a proper shape. And we can see where to merge the canyon with its surroundings. But now that I have a couple guidelines in, I can start forming the canyon up the mountain, which will determine where each ledge of the canyon will be. These ledges are here to give us pathways into other parts of the canyon. Okay, I'm already liking this. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go up there again and have it curve into the hill. Oh, actually, wait, since, ah! Since I know this is gonna be here, I'm gonna start building the circles I was just talking about. All right, so this is already pretty even with the ground. So we're gonna start with a circle here. I'm really bad at circles, so you're not gonna believe this, but I'm gonna pull up a diagram. It's five on each side and then two ones. Got it. All right. And then down the line, I'm gonna fill these in so they're gonna look like cylinders coming out of the ground. But the problem is that how will I be able to get up the hill like this? By placing these little cylinders everywhere including areas like this, stacked on each other multiple times to give me an easy way up the cliffside. Yeah. It doesn't look great as a canyon. This is, <laughs> this is looking so stupid as a canyon. But this is only the beginning. I have even more circles to add. While doing that, I also took the time here to adjust some of the cliff ledges. This way, I can have a little more wiggle room for the future pathways. This is already starting to look amazing. I'm gonna go pick up these terracotta blocks and continue with this cliff over here. 
I think I gotta, I, I have to stop focusing on these circles because they're gonna be dotted. Is it already setting again? Um, they're gonna be dotted all over the place. So I, I just, I'm gonna worry about building the canyon and only the canyon. And when I'm satisfied with the shape of the canyon, I'll do the circles. And I know, the circles sound like a big gamble. Random isometric shapes poking out of the natural terrain doesn't seem very appealing, but this isn't my first rodeo. In preparation for this migraine of a project, I made a copy of this world and used a wonderful mod known as Axiom to shape a prototype canyon into this valley. Even though it's very unfinished, this test conveys the kind of idea we'll be getting when we finish the genuine version. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it already. Okay, when I build this right cliff, I have to remember I want this window to still be here. So I'm gonna try to have the right one hug that mountain. Because the sun rises in this valley and it's so pretty, I don't wanna lose that. So I continued the base set of ledges deeper into the valley, but you've probably noticed by now that I'm not building the canyon as a whole. Rather, I'm leaving these weird outlines all over the valley. Although I plan on filling them in right now, I need to make sure the entire canyon looks good before I do, because if I filled it in and it looked terrible, I'd either have to dig up thousands of blocks to fix it, or be lazy and live with a disgusting canyon. Instead, I'm building a skeleton of the canyon so I won't have to do either. Okay, I think I'm done with this base layer. It, it is really wide for what would be a ravine, but what I'm planning to do is adding like a canyon island, like right here in the center, there's gonna be another canyon going up. So it'll fill in the empty space I have in the middle here and give the canyon a really unique view. But now with that done, we can start moving upwards. I think we're gonna go up a block and then down a block and we're gonna kind of stay in the same level for this guy. This canyon is going to need a lot of these flat edges to build future houses on, because this canyon isn't just here for looks. No, I plan to fill this canyon with a sprawling village full of my best farmer villagers. Because even though I've had this world for nearly a year, I have yet to build a replenishable source of food. I even had to trade for more golden carrots from two farmer villagers that are meant for breeding, not trading. All right, see you guys later. With my food storage empty, this canyon couldn't have come at a better time. Oh, this one's too much. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this this in real quick. This is why I like building, this is why I wanted to build in a skeleton. I did not like this hill since I just had this outline here. It's super easy to, to get rid of. I'm gonna start it more over there and in because even this guy's sticking out too much. I have to keep in mind that there's two sides into this canyon. Let's be a little bit more generous with the space that I have, or I guess a little bit more conservative with the space that I had. While building all these funky shapes, I didn't think about how much space I was leaving for the other side of the canyon, meaning when the time comes, this side will have to hug the mountain a lot tighter. But if I need more space, I'm no stranger when it comes to mining. Okay, down to my last inventory full of uh, terracotta. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know exactly what I'm doing. My brain has gone on complete autopilot. I'm just hoping what I do ends up looking good. <laughs> Wow. Even though I'm flying through my terracotta, this is insane progress. And since I've built a habit for the skeleton so far, I think it's time for a time lapse. I got a refill on terracotta anyway, so I'll keep building until I run out. my blocks are gone i have no more terracotta left but i want to go see how this looks from that first original angle we were standing at yeah i'm gonna sleep and then i'm gonna immediately show you what i was talking about with the sun see what i mean did you see that did you did you notice that the sun rises right in that valley if you angle it properly so i don't want anything really blocking that but i won't know if it's being blocked until i build that ledge of the canyon it's time to officially begin work on the right side of the skeleton. So I ran off to a not so nearby mesa biome to grab some more terracotta. <sighs> Over three hours in, I'm halfway done with the outline. That's not including the entire day I spent deforesting that valley. Okay, attempt number two. Two more shulkers should be enough, since I was able to get a little over half of the valley done with 54 stacks in the first place. Honestly, I should be grabbing more terracotta while I'm here, because the finished canyon will need much more than four shulkers worth, but that's a problem for future me. Two more shulkers full of terracotta later, we are ready to finish this... I was gonna say finish this canyon, but 
This is a long way from being finished. I am ready to continue building the skeleton of this canyon. But thanks to my mistake of building the left side so far out, I have to remember to be extra careful on this side. I don't want the canyon to protrude too far out from this part of the mountain. Otherwise, it might ruin that beautiful sunrise I get. Okay, this, this should be good because it finally reaches the peak. So that way it should cover up this entire mountain right here but I should still be able to get a nice glimpse of the sun rising from that angle. Actually, we can test that. Sun's about to set so we can watch the sunrise and see if this is in the right spot. Boom, perfect. Even if I didn't bring that out at all, the sun's really big right there. It's framed a lot perfectly here. So that gap isn't even that important. We'll see what it looks like later when we're actually done with the filling it in. Oh my God, I just realized that cliffside up there that I just built wasn't recorded in replay mod at all. <laughs> no fancy replays for you, cliffside. Uh-uh-uh. After turning it on, I got right back to work and fell into the same autopilot from earlier, gradually bringing the cliff ledge up or down and leading it into the mountain, except this time a lot closer to the mountain. But even though some of these ledges might look a little funky, I have lots of plans for them. Yeah, the reason this cliffside is coming out almost as far as that one is because I'm going to have it indent. I want there to be structures in a line here. It's going to be the first major structure, I think. And I'm starting to have very interesting ideas, but I'm, I'm also super scared of these ideas. However, in this early stage of the canyon, all I have to worry about is providing a nice canyon for such scary ideas. But that's not always easy. Hmm. I'm realizing I'm now realizing how close this cliff comes to the mountain. It's not going to be able to get much of a grip like right here, I guess is where the, the next wall would probably be best off starting. Okay. <sighs> much better. It's not a lot of space to work with, but adding these extra stilts really help my brain in knowing where the future ledges will be. Well, I'm reaching the end of the canyon, so it's time to start weaning these ledges from the heights and bringing them lower and lower until they meet the ground. But now that it's done, I'm realizing this side is a lot lower than the other. Hmm. I don't know where else to put close up there. I'm realizing even this one goes up high, even though it's ending here. Yikes. I'm going to maybe see if there's a better option here. Is why is there a humongous cliff here if it ends there? I'm putting another cliff here because I'm realizing that whole entire biome is supposed to end here in this area. And there's this massive cliff just jutting out here. So there's going to be a space of cliff, grass, cliff. I'll put a cliff here. I'll probably add a few cylinders down here to transition it. That feels a lot better than what I was doing earlier. And once I finish fixing this side of the canyon, the main skeleton will be finished. Then I can work on adding the centerpiece for this giant valley. Okay, nice big tall cliff there. We'll have a cylinder here. Help with that. Probably terraform that down a little bit. But anyway, the good news is, is that I have an entire shulker of terracotta for the circles and for this middle island. I don't know if I'll do a middle island or at least a big one because I'm with all the cliffs in the in place. I don't think I have as much space as I thought I did. So maybe we'll see. Now that the walls of the canyon are in place, I think I need to reapproach my original problem with this canyon. These ledges, they're everywhere. And no matter where you look, there's going to be some very jarring differences between the canyon and the biome next to it. How am I supposed to blend the reds, oranges, and yellows that will be seen in the canyon with the blues, greens, and whites seen all around the canyon? Well, I've come to a solution, and that is to do nothing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Down the line, I plan to change almost everything about the biomes in the area. Anyway, these mountains will soon become a set of volcanoes. Maybe turn these plains into a tropical cliffside beach. Anyway, I don't think I need to worry about it until I actually terraform the biomes around it. But with most of the canyon in place, I start to realize that a center canyon wouldn't really fit the spacious space I have here. If I do a center island, it's going to be a really small one. It's not nearly enough space to make an impressive looking one. It's just going to waste the space, really. Obviously, all spikes coming out. Um, yeah, all right, all right. I OK, all right. I've made up my mind. I don't want to do a center island anymore. There's not enough space for it. It's too thin. It's too small. It's going to just waste the space. I'm going to have an arch of the canyon right here. It's going to remind me of home, Utah. It's going to remind me of Moab. And I think it's going to use up that space much better than I had originally thought. I just got to find a good spot for it. 
This ledge right here is sitting at the perfect height for a striking arch. And this part's already extending out, so I think right here would be a perfect spot to have it. How does that look? It's obviously too flat. This whole thing's flat. I'm just realizing this entire cliff is flat. Yikes. Um, okay, so we're gonna have this come down. So I can meet this tall side of the arch with the lower set of canyons down here. Okay, all right, before I build any more, because I'm really scared I'm ruining this thing. Honestly, Alex, yeah, I like the curve down. It's not too extreme. And I'm thinking I'm gonna change this cliff a little bit just so this can connect up with it. Because right now, the arch of the canyon is going nowhere. But after adding the second line of the arch, we're left with this. Oh yeah, that line's super solid. And then if we look at it from head on, oh yeah, that's nice. Now the only thing is creating the actual arch itself. We have the bridge. Oh, now we have to create the arch, which it shouldn't be too difficult. It's really just gonna be picking where we want it to start in the wall, which for this one, probably around right here is gonna work perfectly. I'll be honest, I had no idea what I was doing here. Even after building a dozen circles, I couldn't tell how far to bring in these arches to make them look sturdy enough to support the weight of the entire arch. Oh wow, from below it looks so cool. Oh, it got really loud there for a second. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew an arch would be perfect for this. I knew bridges would look really nice. Um, even like a suspension bridge here would look, look nice, but an arch? A natural bridge? Even better. But let's get these final two arch supports in before I get too ahead of myself. Okay, I think that's good, but let's get a real good view of this. I want to look at it from the other side. I saw it from that side, now I want to see it from this side. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. From this side, you can't really tell, it, tell the difference between the arch and all the other lines. But in my mind's eye, I can see it. I think I need to move these arches forward though. Um, that's okay. I have so much extra terracotta. I thought I would run out, like completely. But since I didn't, I shouldn't hesitate to use as much as I need. After all, I'm not filling in this canyon until it looks perfect. And after attempt number two. Uh, consider that I have no reference at hand. I'm in VR, it's kind of hard to constantly look at my phone. I only have one reference and that's circles um, and that those are easy to remember. So doing this is not easy, but even after a second attempt, these arches do not look natural. So I'm thinking of just starting it on this ledge. It's really far forwards, but I think it'll make the canyon look like it's being properly supported. Since that one is, I'm assuming good now, finally, let's head over here and make this one good. Okay, that's not bad. That's definitely better than what we had. Um, still not enough though. I think this needs to get steep, steeper and it needs to taper off smoother. And I even noticed some issues with the other side of the arch. So I'll make those few changes and part one of this canyon will be complete. Even though this is just the beginning, I'm really proud of how far this is coming. The idea of this valley becoming something new was so far out of sight, I never thought I'd see it happen. But here we are. Now, the once jungle valley is filled in with a web of terracotta planning out my future biome remodel. I just hope it looks good. Not bad. Not bad, from right below it, it's beautiful. From right below it, it's just absolutely amazing. But we won't really know if it's fixed or done right until we fill it in. But right now, it looks good. I know the bridge of the arch looks thin, but I already have some dubious plans on what to do for that. So, <sighs> the canyon's done. I mean, <laughs> as done as it's gonna get. Well, the whole skeleton of the canyon, the arch, the circles, everything is planned out and it's ready to be filled in, which I'll be doing in the next episode. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. If you'd like to see more builds and even download schematics for them, check out my Patreon in the description. You're gonna love it. With that being said, my name is Goober. Until next time.